Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about how aesthetics relate to heaven, and this time, is heaven tangible? First, I want to clarify what I mean by this. By heaven, I don't mean the new heavens at the end of time, when everyone will have their bodies back. That, of course, is tangible, since that's what bodies are like. I mean the heaven that exists now, the spiritual heaven which has no bodies and nothing really physical. In a certain sense, heaven isn't tangible since it's not a physical place, and we can't personally touch it with our own hands. The question here is really more to do with whether the saints in heaven, who are also not tangible, can interact with the intangible heaven as though it were tangible to them. To answer this question, it helps to know what a soul is like, what properties it has. At the least, we know that a soul has the following properties. A soul isn't composed of parts like a body is. You can't divide it into components because it doesn't have any. A soul doesn't have an extent across space. There's no spatial dimensions that it fills up. A soul isn't corporeal, meaning that it's not made of physical matter. Finally, the survival of the soul doesn't directly depend on the body. Now, touches, as we understand them, depend on being able to make contact with something or someone else. That only happens when the space that we occupy is connected to the space occupied by that other thing or person. However, souls don't occupy any space at all, so in that sense, they can't really touch. For many theologians, that's all that needs to be said. Spirits don't touch, so heaven can't be tangible. However, this view leaves behind a rather glaring problem. How can heaven be a perfect state of being? How can it be the residence of all goodness if touching is impossible there? How can spirits be superior to the body if the body can do this incredible, powerful thing which no spirit can do? There's got to be an answer to this conundrum. I suggest that there are two reasons why touching things is important. First, because it allows us to move and manipulate the world outside of ourselves and to express ourselves in some manner by doing so. Secondly, because there are physical sensations which require us as living people to touch something in order to enjoy them, like the warmth of bathwater or the softness of a blanket at night. Now, it's possible that the spirits of the saints are able to do both of these not by touching things as we do, but without touching them. In the case of being able to move things, we know it's possible because some angels do it. Angels have the power to move physical objects and forces on a colossal scale if God permits them to. One example of this would be the angel of death from the book of Exodus, who slew every unprotected firstborn in Egypt, as you or I might swat a bug. God's protection normally keeps such things from happening, since when you get down to it, God is still in charge of all of these spiritual beings, but we know that some spiritual beings have enormous power to use in altering the physical world if they're allowed to do so. Can the saints manipulate certain things in the spiritual world as well? I don't see why not. When it comes to opening doors or picking up ice cream cones or things like that, these kinds of things wouldn't lead people astray or disrupt the order of heaven or earth. It would just be an aspect of their own happiness and existence to be able to do things like this. As for whether the saints can experience the sensations of touch without actually physically touching something, I'm almost entirely convinced that they can. Speaking personally, the sense of touch has always been the source of most of my favorite sensations. Feelings like softness, warmth, coolness, brittleness, sturdiness, smoothness, etc. come only through our sense of touch, and none of these is an evil or bad thing to feel or appreciate. Because of that, if heaven lacked things like these and earth possessed them, Earth would have some goodness that heaven didn't possess, which would be absurd. There's also the fact that souls in heaven, according to the Bible and numerous passages, are able to see, hear, and smell, and even eat things. And so why wouldn't they be able to touch things? That just doesn't make sense to me. So although souls in heaven don't actually touch things as we do, they're able to experience the same kind of touching that we do without the spatial constraints under which we suffer. Next time, would I be able to touch things in hell? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.